Hi guys, welcome back to Tactic Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to make cartoon animation video in Canva. Canva AI Tutorial. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now in today's video, we will be mainly focusing on using Canva. And I'm going to teach you how you can create your very own cartoon animation. Now the process is going to be very simple, it's not going to be too complicated. We will be utilizing other AI that would help us build our animation and put it all together inside Canva. We will be also using one platform that will be the key on all of this animation. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do since we're going to be making an animation video is to get started with the canvas. So the canvas setting will be on the video over here and simply choose video option number one. Now depending on the platform you would like to post your cartoon animation, maybe for example you would like it to be a TikTok animation or a TikTok video, we could select the TikTok option over here. But if you're going to go with YouTube or some plain video, we could go with the plain one which is version one or the video number one over here. Now the option that you choose depends on you. The process is fairly the same, so let's get started. And what you're going to have to do, of course, on the step one is to think of the theme of your cartoon. Now, what do I mean by theme? Now, the cartoon might be like SpongeBob where it's going to be underwater and your characters is going to be like fishes or do you want it in a forest or a snowy place? There's a lot of different options or a lot of different themes that you could go with. But for me, let's say I would like to create a cartoon about a snowy place. Something similar to Frozen. So, the first thing we're going to do after thinking of our theme is to look for the background. Now we're simply going to go to elements over here on the left side. Click on search element and simply type in snow background. Then add the keyword cartoon. Because if you just search a normal uh, snow background, it's just going to show us like a normal, so realistic, a realistic photo. So let's check out our photos over here. There's a lot of different options that we can choose from. And we're going to look for something particularly cartoonish. So it's a bit realistic. So let's keep scrolling. Maybe in our graphic, there's something better over here. Uh, maybe this one over here, we could take this. There we go. We now have a very simple uh, background of snow over here. Then we could add some other elements. For example, we could add this, something like that. You could piece together or put together different types of elements if you want. You're not really limited to just using one background. You could add like extra, for example, this one. I could put it in the background, something like that. It depends on your preference or how you want to approach this. So let's add more elements over here so that it's more child friendly something like that add some uh trees in the background we go uh, like we add some trees over here so that there's some context in our animation over here uh we change the position over here there we go Okay, put this one in front. There we go. Then let's add one more element that we could uh, look for. Something very simple that could establish that this is a snowy or a snowy theme. So let's go look for one last one. For example, this one over here. I know it's not really going to match on our background, but you get the idea that I'm trying to do. Simply look for elements that would fit the output very nicely. So let's put it like that. And now we have a very simple part over here you could also search for animated parts already in this part over here uh you could add some snow over here there we go as you can see we could have this already so let's put this on our uh animation over here uh so this let's put this one much more simpler there we go we now have a snow effect on our video over here now this is our very simple video and now what we're going to do is we're going to start the process, which is the most important process, which is creating an animation for our main character. Now, of course, a cartoon animation requires characters. Right now, what we just did is just a background and it's already animated, which is very nice. Uh, let me lower the transparency over here. 
So what we're going to do next is we're going to actually create our character. To do that, you're going to use Adobe Express over here. So simply what you're going to do is you're going to search on your Google or your search bar. You're going to search Adobe Express free YouTube animation creation. That is what you're going to search and you're going to be able to access this. As you can see here on the right side, you will be able to choose from different types of characters. You have different categories as you can see here. You have chalkboard, pencils, you have a normal stickman over here, some footballs, normal person, some food characters over here, animals, and many more. Depending on the type of character that you want, although I suggest that you explore this so that you have an idea on what you will be creating. And after that, you will be able to have this output and after you choose from this you could build on the background or the theme that you want and we will be going with Buster over here and Aurora even maybe and depending on how you want it of course it depends on the output but anyway we have this and what you're going to do next is after you establish which character you want to use you're going to have to position it on a specific part of your video you can also click on size over here which would allow you to choose from the different sizes. You have star reels, portrait, landscape, IGTV, RGTV again, and square. Right now we're using landscape because of course uh, we have landscape over here as well. You have your background. Actually you could click on size again, click on Instagram. You could choose YouTube over here instead. There we go. It's a more accurate size. Click on background. If you're using other editing platform like Canva or I mean CapCut, you could utilize that as well. After you export this, you could use the green screen option over here which would allow you to remove the background but there is already an option to remove it from this part and you could use this as well. And after that, what we need now is the voice of our character. So we have established which character we want. The position of our character so the character would be positioned in the upper part over here so let's actually uh, make it a bit smaller put it there we're going to be here almost beside the resource tree and after that we're going to go to chat gpt and let's ask him create an intro script for a cartoon character talking about his friend penguin who is fishing i decided this is just going to be the part of the script because over here as you can see we have a penguin uh, fishing over here so i'll see the output that chat gpt will produce to us there we go the start is well how did air fall it's me buzzy the polar bear let's modify it the main character is a snowman here we go Simply click on enter again and it will modify our main character. Go cross the sword man. And simply copy the script that will be provided by ChatGPT. If you're not satisfied with the script, you could ask it to remake it of course. But right now, I'm just going to have this so that you understand the concept. After that, go to 11 labs over here. Paste your text and now we have our text over here. Simply look for different types of voices over here. There's a lot of different voices over here actually. And for me, I'm going to go with Gigi over here. As you can see, there is some tags that you can see. You have childish and animation. So this voice is perfect for that. There's also extra voice settings. As you can see here, there's stability. Uh, you have clarity over here. I suggest for Gigi, you have 30% stability. And for clarity, you have 60%. And let's actually generate it so that you can hear the voice. And we will download it, upload it to Adobe Express over here because as you can see, you will be able to record your character's dialogue. You can either record it voice, like right now you could talk to it by clicking on record, or you could upload a downloaded audio. Ho, ho, ho. Well, howdy there, friend. That is what we're going to do. And as you can see, this is our audio over here. Let me play it from the start. Ho, ho, ho. Well, howdy there, friend. I'm Frosty the Snowman, and I've got a snowtastic story to share with you today. As you can see, that is our character voice, which is very nice. It has a very good quality, a very childish and animated like voice. So you could use 11 Lab for the voice. You could explore other voices as well if you want. 
there are other types of voices over here for example if you're going to represent a very serious character with a very deep voice there is a lot of options over here as you can see so after this simply download it by clicking on this download button over here on the right side and it will download go back to adobe uh, browse upload it and it will upload it to the adobe express and it will enhance it actually let me turn on the enhance audio over here replace audio browse i suggest that you turn on the enhance because it will help improve the voice quality that is especially helpful for example you're recording right now you're recording it directly the enhance of adobe will enhance the voice making it a better quality so as you can see it will animate it automatically like the voices or like i mean the action the lips it will do it all for you you don't need to do any type of animation so you will be able to see it after we finish exporting it and we will play it before we upload it to our canva over here now as you can see it's currently wrapping up and there we go and uh let me play this Ho ho ho! Well, howdy there, friends! I'm Frosty the Snowman, and I've got a snowtastic story to share with you today. See, the character is being animated, and there's action to it, the voice as well. And as you can see, download is not available for videos with transparent background. Select open in Adobe Express to preserve transparency or back button to change the background. So, uh, we're going to open it in Adobe Express, but we're going to have to download this. Or we could change the background to something else. Uh, let's change it to green instead because we weren't able to use the transparent anymore. So uh, preview again. And let's download it with a green background this time. Then we can just remove it later on at our Canva over here. And there we go. Simply click on download. And you're going to have to create your account or sign into Adobe so that you can download it. There we go, our download is now complete. We can go back to Canva over here, uh, drag our video. Ho, 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 uh, it's currently green. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on edit video and click on the background remover option over here. As you can see, there's the background remover option. So simply select this and it will remove the background of the video. And simply give it some time, it might take a while because of course it's a video, but if it's a photo, it's going to be faster. So let's give it some time to load. And there we go, our character or the background is now removed. We can now place our character in position. Although the position or the size that I'm doing is a bit small. But anyway, let's settle with it for now. Then simply click on play. Ho, ho, ho! Well, howdy there, friend! I'm Frosty the Snowman, and I've got a snowtastic story to share with you today. And there we go. Now I suggest when you create your character, it's a bit closer to the clip. Like you could make it closer to the screen so that it's a bit easier to see. For example, like this. And that's basically it. Now you can, after you build your story, you can simply click on share over here on the top. Click on download and you will be able to download your video. And that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.